Location. Thermopylae Pass, on one side. An endless Persian army, on the other side. A handful of Greek warriors were familiar with their terrain and strategies. Soon, you will witness the clash between an unstoppable massive force and an immovable object at Thermopylae Pass. The Persian Empire, in 550 BC, overthrew the Median Empire and declared its independence. Rapidly expanding Persians extended their territories as far as India, annexing Anatolia and the Aegean coasts, as well as Babylon and Egypt, however. The populations in their controlled territories were prone to rebellions. During the Ionian Revolt, Athens and Eretria supported the rebellion, Persians attacked the rebellious cities for punishment. After seizing Thrace, Persians advanced towards Greece. They occupied Eretria, but were defeated by Athens in the Battle of Marathon before Darius could take revenge. After Darius's death, Xerxes I ascended to the throne with determination to avenge his father's defeat and conquer ancient Greece. Athenians began preparations to resist Persian invasion and formed a strong navy. Athens lacked strong land forces, so they attempted to form alliances with other Greek city-states. In 481 BC, Persians demanded submission from Greek city-states. But the killing of Persian envoys by Athens and Sparta made war inevitable. This situation formed an alliance between Athens and Sparta, uniting other Greek city-states against Persia. Persian forces crossed the Dardanelles to enter Europe. Athenian general Themistocles proposed a different strategy to prevent Persian invasion by defending Thermopylae Pass, which only allowed passage through a narrow path, and simultaneously preventing the retreat of the Persian navy. The Greek Congress approved this dual strategy. The Persian army advanced through Thrace towards the heart of Macedonia, however. Sparta was celebrating the Carnia festival, prohibiting their participation in the war. Therefore, Ephors decided to send Leonidas with 300 royal guards to delay the Persian advance until the festival ended, allowing the entire Spartan army to join. Leonidas, accompanied by 300 royal guards and allied Greek forces totaling about 7,000 troops, gathered at Thermopylae, they positioned themselves to confront the approaching Persian army estimated to be between 70,000 and 300,000 soldiers. Persian archers initiated the attack, but Greek shields and armor provided effective protection against their arrows. Xerxes then launched the assault with elite troops from Media and Hyrcania, totaling 10,000 soldiers. Greeks confronted the Persian army in the narrow pass, with Spartans forming an impenetrable barrier at the forefront. Persian soldiers' lack of armor and short spears posed a disadvantage against Greek soldiers' long spears. When Persian forces suffered heavy losses, Xerxes deployed the elite immortals, a 10,000-strong unit, to break through Greek lines. Despite initial success in breaking the Spartan line, immortals faced significant losses due to Spartan resilience. By the afternoon, they managed to breach the Spartan defenses, a failed to advance further, inflicting heavy losses on the Greek alliance. Overall, Persians lost over 20,000 soldiers, and the outcome of the battle remained uncertain. Realizing the inadequacy of his forces, Xerxes withdrew his troops to reconsider his strategy. However, a traitor named Ephialtes informed Persians about a mountain path by passing Thermopylae, enabling them to outflank the Greek defenders. Persians then launched a two-pronged assault, surrounding Greek forces at Thermopylae. While many Greeks chose to retreat, Leonidas and his 300 Spartans, along with some allies, remained to defend Sparta's honor. Ultimately, they were overwhelmed and Leonidas fell in battle, his body becoming a focal point of intense fighting. All Spartans perished, but they inflicted significant losses on the Persian army, including over 20,000 soldiers. Upon discovering Leonidas' body, Xerxes mutilated it and displayed it as a warning. Despite their sacrifice, Persians breached Thermopylae and ravaged Athens, however. Spartans preserved Sparta's honor and were immortalized as the 300 Spartans in history.